It's snacking time. All right, we're gonna try these hippies. This is hippies chickpea puffs, vegan white cheddar flavor. Um, let's see. It's got chickpea flour, rice flour, yellow pea flour, sunflower oil, salt, cane sugar, natural flavors, yeast extract, onion powder, garlic powder, citric acid, and rosemary extract. Now, it's also got um, some good fiber and protein because it's chickpeas, which is also garbanzo beans, which is also the same thing that um, hummus is made out of. Yes, I said hummus. I'm Jewish. Anyways, let's open these up. They were already kind of open because um, my kids were so dying to try these. Um, so I gave them some and he ran up here to do my review. So these are hippies. I've actually seen these in individually sized packages of chips at Starbucks. Um, but I've seen these in the regular grocery store also. These came from Costco because they are 18 ounces. And if you know anything about anything about kids, they're going to eat you out of house and home. So, let's try these out. Let's see what they smell like. It's supposed to be cheddar? What's the cheddar flavor in here? I don't see any nutritional yeast or any kind of thing that would indicate a cheddar flavor. But white cheddar so if i guess if they added nutritional yeast it would be just cheddar yellow anyway let's try it i'm smelling onion and garlic powder very 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 mildly so i don't know how heavily seasoned these are really going to be honestly but let's give these a try so here's what they look like like a cheeto puff but much harder in texture, just feeling it um, looks a little bit thicker, but um, let's give it a try. Hmm. Just like I said, really, really dense. Good on the salt, not too salty. But not undersalted. Hmm. It has a little bit of a... I guess the citric acid is giving it kind of a... For lack of a better word, acidic, lemony kind of taste. It's more like the cheddar. Cheddar. Ugh. Words. It's more like the cheddar that you would taste in like a white macaroni and cheese with a little bit of lemon added, but not the citrus flavor of the lemon, just the sourness. Mm. Mm. They're really crummy. So definitely eat this over a plate. And the other thing too is they're extremely oily. Can you see? There's powder. There's also oily. It's not like overly oily, but look, I barely touched it. Do you see any glistening on there? It's shiny. There's oil on it. Um, but if I remember correctly, cheese is oily. It's the fat, and fat is flavor. Now, I wouldn't necessarily consider these, if you didn't tell me what flavor this is, I wouldn't be able to discern what flavor this is. I would just call it chip flavor, generic chip flavor. It's not like a strong cheddar, but not very strongly seasoned either. Mm. More on the mild for seasoning. Is this the best chip I ever had? Not really. Are they good? Yes. Could I eat an entire bag? Maybe not an 18 ounce size, but they're not bad. I feel like they could use a dip. They are very dense. You can taste the onion and the garlic and the citric acid and the bean. So that's very nice. Um, I guess if you don't eat uh, cheese and you're really craving 
a Cheeto puff. I guess this is one of the closest things you can get. I really want to try also, off topic, Vegan Rob's, which also makes a Cheeto. Oh my gosh, you guys, they have a spicy Cheeto. I'm so stoked. But look, these come in all different kinds of flavors. If you, This one's pretty mild. Mm, I think it would go good with a very spiced, flavorful Italian sandwich or something like that. Um, it's good if you just want to mindlessly snack, you know, and you just want something a little bit salty with a little bit of flavor to just, you know, like popcorn in a movie. Salted popcorn, but you're doing Cheeto puff. Now, it's a Cheeto puff, so it does get stuck in your teeth. But as you saw just now, I literally just went and sucked it right in. Be very careful when you chew these, though, because they're a little bit sharp and they're kind of dry on the outside. But once you start to chew it and your saliva gets in there, it sounds a little gross, but it's good. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, I'll give these a 6. Nah, not my favorite, but better than average. I'm definitely looking forward to trying the other flavors of these. The texture is pretty good for a keto puff honestly a little bit drier than i was expecting but it's good so i'm pretty sure my kids are gonna like these and i'm pretty sure your kids are gonna like these anybody watching um i'm pretty sure you're gonna like these if you want just a plain like salted popcorn style crunch of chip snack so i bet these could get really addicting quite quickly um but anyways i am going to go i guess white cheddar um is a very mild flavor so they did kind of get the white cheddar spot on not that i remember what actual white cheddar tastes like but um yeah thanks for snacking with me if you want to pick these up go right ahead i paid for this at costco with my own money um yeah so i guess i must like these because i'm continuing to keep eating them mm. again eat this over a plate they're quite messy but they're good I guess I'm just used to things being so overly seasoned that this is kind of a nice palate cleansing snack. It's good. I guess I'll give these a seven. I'm up in the up. The more you eat, the more addicting they get. What's the saying? Once you start, you can't stop. Or what's the other saying? You can't eat just one. Well, that's how these are. I'm going to probably try and find some of the other flavors um, in smaller packaging. But, yeah. So, if you want to try these, try these. Anyways, not necessarily in this large of a bag because you don't know if you'll like them. But, now I'm just ranting at this point. So, uh, thanks for joining me for a snack. I found these new addicting hippies that were mildly flavored and super dry and crunchy. But... I'm still eating them. As you can tell, they're real crunchy. They're kind of dry, but then once you eat them, they start to moisten up. I think they need a dip. Yeah, that's what they need, a dip. This texture is so perfect, though. You just want to keep eating it, not even for the flavor, but just for the texture. Anyways, thanks for snacking with me. I think that's how it is. It's like a when you eat, it starts with your eyes, how it looks. But some people won't eat it unless it has a nice texture. This really gets stuck in your molars. But the texture is so satisfying, even more than the flavor. But um, I guess I'm going to go and share the snack with my kids. Hoarding the snack. Just kidding. Anyway, like I always say, everything in moderation except your fruits and vegetables. This is a legume and it's part of a healthy diet. So um, I'm going to go enjoy some snacks. Well, I've been snacking all day, having fun with the kids. Anyways, eat healthy, be happy mentally and physically. And I will see you guys when I try some more snacks, which might be today. I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, uh, before I eat this entire bag, I'm going to go share with the kids. Bye.